That's me. On 19th September 2019, I had the opportunity to go on board with Malaysian Meteorological Department or Met Malaysia together with Royal Malaysia Air Force to conduct cloud seeding operation. On that particular day, the cloud seeding operation are all over the headlines and Met Malaysia was the center of attention in every medium. You name it, Awani, Al Jazeera, AP News Agency, AFP, TB3, RTM, and other broadcasting agency. When I first started working with Mad Malaysia, I was assigned to my current division that is called Atmospheric Science and Cloud Seeding Division. And I thought to myself, wow, there must be a lot, a lot of sciences going on around here. And yes, I was right. So I started to do some research on cloud seeding and it is fascinating and it's fascinating how such a small particle or in scientific name you call them cloud condensation nuclei or CCN in short can evolve to such a huge impact in our weather prediction. This branch of science is called microphysics phenomenon. In 1973, Met Malaysia was the only department that provided cloud seeding operations service up until today. The main purpose of its implementation is to increase water supply and to fill up the dam for the use of activities such as agriculture, domestic supply and hydroelectric power generation. Apart from that, in 1972, according to the Straits Times Singapore, there has been reports of horrific Southeast Asian haze caused by the forest fires in the neighboring country, Indonesia. Thus, the cloud seeding operation came to the rescue to combat the situation. Cloud seeding is a type of weather modification that aims to increase the efficiency of rain formation process and increase the amount of rainfall in the desired area through the distribution of aerosols that act as a cloud condensation nuclei or CCN into the cloud which then alter the microphysics process within the cloud. Well basically we just hack the cloud system to produce more rain. Uh, salt is somewhat a uh, powerful chemical agent that has the ability to absorb the moisture in air or in other words, uh, it is the hygroscopic material. Uh, this is the chemical that we use for cloud seeding operation. According to a study by John Innes, uh, he concluded that the sodium chloride is strongly hygroscopic at higher humidity than 80%. The next clip that I want to show to you is about our cloud seeding operation. Sit back, relax and enjoy the clips. Proses pembenihan awan memasuki hari kedua setelah melalui proses pertama. Proses pembenihan awan dilakukan dengan mengambil kira faktor keadaan awan, atmosfera yang sesuai dan stabil Usaha serta udara lembab. Awan di beberapa proses kawasan yang berawan di Kelantan berjaya menghasilkan hujan. Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif EFJAT Senarbahan Aldo Jabatan Meteorologi Malaysia MED dijangka melaksanakan operasi pembenihan yang digunakan awan untuk pembenihan awan ialah natrium klorida iaitu garam masakan yang lazim digunakan dalam kehidupan seharian. Garam itu adalah selamat dan tidak mempunyai sebarang kesan. yang berpengkalan di lapangan terbang Subang dan Pulau Pinang yang diteruskan seperti biasa berjaya menghasilkan hujan di beberapa kawasan. 6,000 kg garam digunakan dalam pembenihan awan yang dilakukan dua kali sehari. Operasi pembenihan awan OPA di kawasan utara Semenanjung Malaysia akan dijalankan esok oleh Jabatan Meteorologi Malaysia. Mad Malaysia menjalankan uh, pemenihan awan dengan menggunakan dua keedah. Satu, pemenihan uh, basah, wet seeding. Dan satu lagi, kita menggunakan keedah pemenihan kering, dry seeding. Operasi pemenihan awan dengan keedah kering menggunakan pesawat Cessna 340A. Uh, pada sayap pesawat itu, kita pasang 12 batang flare di sebelah kanan dan 12 batang flare lagi di sebelah sayap kiri. Kita gunakan pesawat itu hanya terbang pada dasar awan dan bila kita dapati awan yang bersesuaian, 
uh, flat akan dibakar dan debu garam akan uh, keluarlah. Operasi mengambil masa lebih kurang 2 hingga 3 jam bergantung pada keluasan kawasan sasaran. Untuk pemilihan basah, kita akan menggunakan pesawat TVM Charlie 130 Hercules dan setiap operasi kita akan menggunakan empat tangki baru tanggaran. Okey, untuk uh, proses penyediaan larut tanggara, kita akan bancuhkan sebanyak 200 kg garam ke dalam tangki yang berkapasiti 1800 liter. Dan seterusnya, kita akan membawa empat tangki yang telah dimancuh ke dalam pesawat dan kita akan terbang ke kawasan sasaran. Bila sampai dekat kawasan sasaran, kita akan uh, sembuh uh, larutan garam tu pada awan yang sesuai. Pak, saya tanya sasaran, uh, macam mana kita nak tahu keadaan yang sesuai, keadaan atmosfer yang sesuai untuk melakukan pembenihan awan? Terima kasih Syukri. Bagi mengetahui keadaan atmosfera di kawasan sasaran tu, uh, kita ada mobile upper air. Sebelum kita fly, kita release upper air balloon dekat kawasan sasaran dulu bagi mengetahui profil atmosfera dia. Jadi kita dapat maklumat seperti suhu, dew point, uh, wind direction, wind speed pada setiap paras ketinggian. Saya ada soalan untuk Encik Harry. Bagaimana kita mengetahui Hopa ini berjaya ataupun tidak? Okey, terima kasih Encik Zalih atas soalan itu. Okey, sebenarnya untuk menentukan kejayaan, kita akan menggunakan imej radar selepas operasi kita jalankan. Kita juga akan menggunakan data data hujan daripada stesen-stesen yang berdekatan dengan kawasan sasaran. Dan yang ketiga, selalu kita akan refer juga para sempanan yang kita yang kita lakukan operasi tersebut. Hi, do you enjoy the montage? Hopefully you have. It's a basic idea how we conduct the operation. On a serious note, our cloud seeding operation often uh, face a few challenges in uh, conducting the operation such, uh, such as high operational costs, uh, action and broken plane human safety whenever you are up high uh, in the sky you are dealing with risk as a meteorologist uh, it's our obligation to make life better and meaningful therefore with regards to IR 4.0 we can we came up uh, with uh, an idea to use uh, unmanned aerial uh, vehicles UAV or people nowadays call it uh, drones why do we choose this option number one it's uh, safe uh, number two it can operate for more than six hours uh, number three able to fly as far as a hundred kilometer uh, number four it can carry payload more than uh, 30 kilogram in a nutshell I think that Malaysia is rapidly moving towards IR 4.0 and envision technological advances to incorporate with our weather forecasting and operation. Cloud seeding is a type of science that has tremendous amount of physics and dynamical phenomenon that happens in a split of a second. For example, this background video shows a converting microburst or 
falling rain in the mountain from an orographic clouds. This rain creates waterfall, rivers and lake. And eventually it became a dam for hydroelectric power generation. Do you see how we complement each other? We as human beings should appreciate and preserve the mother nature and understand how the nature presents itself. That's all folks. Before I end this, I want you all to give it a thought. Although we are not on the same page, but we are always on the same book. Thank you.